Hi everyone, it's Emma on my Pampered Pets and this is going to be quite a long update video. Well, I'm saying long because I think it will be because I talk a lot. Um, it's quite a very, very sad video, really. So be warned that I'm going to be telling you some exciting things about my pets. So I'm just going to start off with the bad news just to tell you straight. And some of you will already know. But, um, my beautiful Dutch rabbit, Jasper and Blossom, are no longer with us as they both passed away. <sighs> they passed away just Blossom, just four weeks in between each other, and Jasper died first. And I was really upset about that. And then I was just trying to come to terms with it, and then Blossom passed away, so it was kind of a big blow to my head, really. It was awful. Um, but yeah, still got you too, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, but I really do miss Jasper and Blossom. So basically, I'll tell you what happened. So as you know, they were all living together as a four, and they were really, really happy. But then well, they both copied each other to these two. But then I came home from school one day, and there was fur everywhere which told me that they had been fighting or something so I, was, I thought oh no it's Tink she started bullying Blossom again because that's what they always used to do Tink used to always try and attack Blossom but then I finally got over that and then I bonded them but when I watched more closely it was actually Jasper he was chasing all the bunnies, he was chasing Mischief and Tink and Blossom and it was just really weird because he was always really really friendly with them so it just seemed all Weird, he was really out of character. So we knew something was not quite right. We just thought he was having a bad day though. We never thought he was ill, which he must have been, really, now that I think back. The problem was, I was going on holiday two days later, or well, three days later, but the bunnies were going on holiday two days later. They were going to a really, really great boarding place. Um, and the lady there is absolutely fantastic with animals. And so I don't want anybody saying it was her fault or anything when I tell you what happened because she didn't do anything wrong at all. Um, so basically I had to sort something out so I split the rabbits into two pairs. Mischief went with Blossom and Tink went with Jasper because I believed them that Tink and Jasper loved each other very very much so they should go together. Mischief loved everyone so I thought he might as well go with Blossom. So yeah they were in two pairs, they have really big hutches at this place and they got to go and run every day. They, were, they got vegetables every day, twice a day I think, and they always had hay, best quality hay, and they had the food they needed, and they got loads of cuddles, and yeah, it was really, really well looked after when they went there. So I had split them up into two pairs, and you might think, why did you just split them up into two pairs when Jasper was out of character? The reason is because Jasper made Tink angry, and then Tink turned on to Blossom. And she bit her and she they went into this full on lock on fight when I was there. I tried desperately really really hard to split them up. I managed to do it eventually using a brush. Um it was really scary actually. Um I couldn't leave them fighting like that. They were actually both on the floor sideways, like latched on. And if you've ever seen a fight like that you'll know that they are very hard to split up. I managed to split them up, looked at Blossom, checked her over, and she had a slit here in two places which was really really bad so she was taken to the vets to see what if they could do anything they said they could stitch up the ear but it was pointless because it wouldn't benefit Blossom in any way it would just make it look nicer so we thought there's no point her having that done because she'd have to go under anaesthetic and it can be quite risky sometimes especially if she was quite a thin small rabbit so we thought well, we'll leave that but she did get some medicine some antibiotic pain relief and stuff to um, stop the pain and when she went to the boarding place Lynn carried that on for her and yeah she said that Blossom was the most gentle rabbit she'd ever had there and she's really really sweet sorry my camera cut off are you nudging me so yeah the bunnies went there and then they went on a Friday and I was on holiday for two weeks and then on the next Friday we had a really really sad phone call saying that Lynn had gone down to check on the bunnies. They'd been fine all day. She like gave them she gives them like 
forgot to say health check, like she checked the bums and stuff for fly strike. And they was, she was fine when she checked him for that and everything. And she went down to give him the vegetables. And when she went down, she thought it was really odd because only Tinkerbell went to the front of the hutch. And usually it's Tink and Jess, but they go to the front of the hutch. So she instantly thought there was something not right. So she opened up the bedroom area and Jasper was laid there all wet on his side fitting. And she just could not do anything. He was just there fitting and there was nothing she could do. And he just passed away there. It gives me comfort knowing that um, Tink was there to comfort Jasper and that Lynn was there as well. And Jasper knew he wasn't alone. But I was absolutely devastated when I found out. And we never had a post-mortem done because I didn't want Jasper being put into it, but we believe he had a brain tumour because it, it kind of he kind of had the symptoms for it by fitting just randomly and also how. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Are you doing an example? What are you doing? Cutie, how cute was that? Oh. Yeah, he was fitting and also how he'd been a bit out of character the week before by biting everyone. And to think about it, he was actually quite quiet for a few weeks before he went to Lynn's. Like, he just sat there and didn't come out to greet me. But we just thought he was being unsociable. We never thought there was anything wrong. So, yeah, just passed away. And Lynn was really nice about it. She brought him back and he was in this box and he had a it was laid on hay, he had a white towel over him and a little rose on top and we buried him. It was very upsetting. But yeah, that left Tink by herself and mischief with Blossom. So we had a barrier across here in the middle of the shed. We had mischief and Blossom on one side and Tink on the other side. However, Blossom was getting really aggressive towards mischief because um, she could smell Tink and she wasn't being she was just nipping him a bit and Mischief wasn't happy with her and also Tink was feeling really lonely so I thought it would be best if we put Mischief back with Tink because they were originally together and it would seem like the right thing to do so we had them two together again and then we had Blossom by herself and I felt really guilty that Blossom was by herself but she did occasionally get to meet up with Mischief and see him and she could still see them through the through the, um, through the playpen ooh, the playpen bars so she wasn't completely lonely um, so yeah, but I did feel sorry for her and I planned to buy a Wendy house and attach it to the front of that Avery and then she'd have half the run and it'd be like a little bit that she could come out of, like a little cat flap, have half the run. Then these two could have this shed and half the run, which is still plenty of room for them. And I planned to do that and then I thought maybe I could adopt a bunny from a rescue. I thought it was a bit too soon after Jasper and I really felt mean. But I had to do what was best for Blossom, so I planned on getting her a little friend. But then I had another holiday two weeks later, which was just a week in the Lake District. I'm not rich or anything, I don't go on holiday all the time. Um, this was just like a little Lake District holiday in a caravan. So off the, off the bunnies went, Misty with King and Blossom by herself. And I was asking Lynn for updates and she was updating me saying that Misty and Tink were really crazy running around like bunnies, all happy. She said Blossom was a bit lonely, a bit quiet. But she was getting lots of attention from Lynn, lots of cuddles and um, she was getting lots of run time and had lots of toys to play with and stuff. But they went on a Friday again and on the Wednesday we got another side phone call saying that Blossom had passed away. Lynn had gone out, Lynn was Lily was looking after him and um, when her husband was like cleaning out the hutches and when he got to Blossom's hutch to clean it out um, she was just laying there and she'd passed away. I don't really know what happened, what she died of. Um, Lynn offered to pay for the post-mortem. She wouldn't have done anything. If she'd done anything, she wouldn't offer to pay for a post-mortem because that's how you find out whether there was something wrong. And if she'd done something, you would find out by the post-mortem. So I know she didn't do anything. But again, I didn't want Blossom cut in two. I just thought, it's not going to bring her back, it's a lot of money, and I wouldn't want them paying that much either. Go cute tinkers. So, Blossom passed away. Lynn came back, brought her back, 
and she felt awful. She gave me some beautiful pink roses and we buried one with Blossom just like we buried a rose with Jasper and we buried Blossom next to where Jasper's buried and yeah that's where they stay, they're together now. I felt really really guilty that Blossom was by herself but I was planning to make her life so much better getting her a friend and I did rescue her from an awful place, gave her space. She had a happy moment with the quad. She had some happy days with mischief and even Tink was nice to her at some points and Jasper was always nice to her eventually. Um, so I felt really guilty that she didn't have a friend with her in the end but she knew that I loved her and I was kind of like her bonded partner really. I brought her in for cuddles and I brought her in for a really really long cuddle before she went to Lynn. She sat with me for like two hours on the sofa which was really nice and lovely to be spending that time with her. I'm just so sad that it was really the last time we spent together really. I loved her so much, I really did and I really hope that she was happy living with me. I treated her spoiled her which was a big big change from where she came from. If you watch my Blossom's introduction video, I think I can't remember what it's called, I think it might just be called about Blossom or just Blossom. You watch that, I kind of explain where she was from, how she was from my auntie who neglected her and kept her in her hut that she couldn't stand up in and how she had the spurs on her teeth. And we got her spayed, we got her vaccinated, we got her spurs thought out. <laughs> she keeps flopping. You're washing. Stop distracting me, Tink. <laughs> Though I think that Lawson was happy here. I'm just sad that she was a bit lonely for her last week or two. And I feel guilty that I wasn't there with her. But there's nothing I can do now. And she's with Jasper now. And I hope that they're happy in Rainbow Bridge and like, yeah, together. I really, really do. So. We think that she died of old age. She was either four or five when we got her, which means she'd be either five or six now or something. We got loads of different ages from our auntie. She couldn't, she didn't really know how old she was, but Blossom had gone grey on her tummy, which kind of told me she was old. And she was a very thin, small rabbit. She wasn't nice and chunky like rabbits really should be. Not fat. Rabbits shouldn't be fat, but you shouldn't be able to feel the spine as prominent as you could with Blossom's. Um, and we've fed her a lot but it made no difference so I don't know. I think she was old, I think it was old age and I just hope that she died peacefully in her sleep and didn't die in pain or anything like that. So yeah that is the really sad news that I lost both my duchies. These two, well she won't miss Blossom but she'll miss Jasper and he'll miss Jasper and Blossom a lot. And I miss Jasper and Blossom a lot, and my mum does, and my dad, and my brothers, and everybody misses them. But these two now have this big run to themselves, instead of having like different penned off bits when they fought and stuff. But I just wish I could bring Blossom back, I would do anything to bring her back, and I wish I could bring Jasper back or do anything to bring him back, and yeah. Um, as you know, Jasper was my jumping bunny. He came to shows with me and he loved it. He, I never forced him to do anything. He was really happy for me. And it's sad that I no longer have him with me. And then I tried jumping with Blossom. She didn't used to like the harness, but magically she started liking it, which is really weird. I just went outside and my mum had her in the harness. And I was like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? My bunnies don't like harnesses. Blossom doesn't like harnesses. And she goes, she does, she doesn't mind it. And Blossom was fine in it. She really was. She wasn't stressed or anything. So I set up a few jumps. Blossom did fantastic. She got up to about 50 centimetres high already in like a week, which was really, really good. So I thought, well, I have hope with Blossom now. Maybe she can be a really, really great jumper, but sadly she's passed away too. But I don't really care that I don't have them for jumping. They weren't about just jumping. They were everything to me. They were my beautiful baby bunnies. And, yeah, I'm going to miss them so much. If you have watched my last video, it was um, Mischief jumping at Halifax show. I did go to Halifax show. I plan to take Mischief and Jasper because Mischief started jumping. As you know by one of the jumping videos I put on before. But sadly I only ended up taking Mischief. But he did really, really well. 
but um, yeah, I kind of retired him for a bit, but I think I'm going to unretire him because he was really, really thin and underweight, and I thought that it wasn't going to be good for him because he got tired easy. But now he's put on loads of weight, which is fantastic. He went from 1.4 to 1.7, so he's, he's a little fatty now, aren't you? <laughs> well, not really fat, but you know, he's a healthy weight now. So he does a bit of jumping. I don't know if he'll come to any shows or anything like that. He's fine with it. Right? But depends how he is health-wise. Because I wouldn't take an unhealthy rabbit to a show or anything. Because I think that would be mean. Uh, but yeah. So that's the update. Sadly I've lost my, my duchies. I'll show you where they're buried. So you can just see that. My parents have been chopping down bushes and stuff, so it's a bit... There's twigs everywhere. But they're buried here. I got a little lavender plant for them. Jasper was buried right in between this line. And I got a beautiful plant. Um, because I did actually take a picture of him next to some purple flowers. And they thought, heather actually. But I really like lavender and it smells nice, so I got him a lavender plant. And then here is where Blossom is. And this is going to be a big shrub, so it's going to grow really long. But that was originally for Jasper, so I'm hoping to get another plant for Blossom, but plant it somewhere else, because it would just clash with the lavender. I was wanting to get like an apple tree that would blossom, so they could put it like here. That would be really, really big, so I don't know, and then I'd feel mean to Jasper, because then Blossom would have a bigger plant, and I love them both the same, so. Yeah, I don't know, I might just get a, a few pink plants, because she was a little pretty princess, little girly, and plant them somewhere. Uh... But yeah, they're together now, and that's really nice. So yeah, um, I'm really upset about that. Um, and thank you for the support people have been giving me on Facebook and forums and YouTube and everything. So thank you for that. And also thank you to the people who have made little videos. Um, little memorial videos, I really appreciate that as well. Um, so here are my guinea pigs. Nothing new with them really, apart from they do get to play in that large room more often but as my parents have been doing like garden work today I couldn't put the big one up but they're in here and they're fine and they're very cute they've just got the tunneled plant pot water bottle some random bark that they can chew um yeah they had that hidey house in but I just took it out soon before I made this video so that I could show you them easier and that's my piggies they're fine I'll try to make more videos on them so yeah, that's basically all my updates, and I am really sorry that it was such a sad one. Uh, so yeah, I really miss my beautiful babies. Um, but yeah, if Mischief does any rabbit jumping, I say he's jumping in memory of Jasper, and Jasper's given him the power to do so well. And it's me, and I believe that. Jasper kind of like gave Blossom the strength to do really good at jumping to start jumping so high within a week because she never could get that high and then just magically she was doing fantastic and she really liked it just doing it all fan on lead and it was just so nice to see her doing that and being so happy but yeah so that's my update I hope you enjoyed Tink's flop she just keeps flopping today don't you you're very cozy bunny very cool and you love your brother. So, yeah. The update. I'm going to try and do like tribute videos to Jasper and Blossom. And I'm also going to make one for my guinea pigs for Jim Rainbow. Who you never saw. But I would like to make a video for them. It's just really upsetting for me making these kind of videos. So, it may be a while but I will get them on one day. So, yeah. Oh, you may have noticed. I don't think I said the guinea pig hutch is now pink um, and they have like a pink design but it needs washing today um, it's light pink and dark pink and this bit needs going over dark pink and these need to be dark pink I went a bit wrong there and the top needs to be light pink and the sides need to be painted but I don't know what colour to do them yet either light pink or dark pink I wanted to make it really girly so they have like a pink theme, pink little train stuff I'll do a proper tour on them when I've cleaned it all out so you can see it but that is that. Aren't you cute? 
So yeah, this has been a really, really long video, so let me know if you've watched it all, and let me know what you think, and like, if you are going to miss Jasper and Blossom as much as I am, then do comment and say, as like a little mini tribute to them, just say rest in peace or something. I'd appreciate that, because I miss them, and um, you probably will too, and I'd like to know how many people actually love them, <laughs> which I'm sure is quite a lot of people, because they were just beautiful, I don't know how anyone couldn't love them. They're gorgeous, just such friendly personalities, such characters, and I'm going to miss them really, really much. So, very much, I should say. I don't think I'm getting any more bunnies. I'm happy with my two. They cost a lot. And, um, maybe if a bunny found its way to me, then I would get another. See if, like, it turned up on the street outside or on my doorstep. Or if I felt there was one that really, really needed rescuing from somewhere, then maybe. But for now, I don't want any more. It's too soon and it's too pretty too upsetting. So, yeah. Hope you liked the update video. Actually, probably hope you don't like it because it was sad. But hope you like the pink collection stuff. Um, but sorry. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I hope there'll be no more bad news for years to come. In years and years and years. I hope there's no bad news forever. But yes, thank you for watching. Goodbye.